In the short story, Tom Edison's Shaggy Dog, Edison discovers that dogs are super intelligent and that they can talk. The dog tells Edison how to make his light bulb work in exchange for keeping his secret. But it doesn't matter. Other dogs learn of the potential leak, and let's just say that it does not end well for the talking pooch. So, when I mentioned to my regular hiking companions that I might do a video about some of our favorite destinations, the ones that nobody knows about, I got some very hard looks. Even so, I'm going to risk it. Here are five of our favorite little-known hikes in the central Adirondacks. None of these routes would be called difficult by experienced hikers, but they may challenge your navigational skills. Rather than following a single well-marked trail, these routes combine trails, old roads, obscure paths, and maybe a bit of bushwhacking. Note that when you head off trail, you'll also want to find your way back. Keep that in mind from the start. Winding Falls is on the Bog River, a couple of miles below Lowe's Lower Dam. Three separate routes lead to the falls, and two of them, starting at the same place, can be combined into a seven-mile loop. The falls is not particularly high, 30 or 40 feet, but the entire flow of the Bog River is forced through a narrow chute where it tumbles down over a series of rock steps. The best out and back route is known as the Bog River Ski Trail. Much of this trail passes along a particularly scenic stretch of the Bog River. Big and Little Pisgah Mountains offer expansive views for a very modest effort. The route starts at the Outer Ghoulie Club parking area, and a round trip of five miles will take you over both summits. The route can be summarized as follow the road for a ways and then bushwhack to the top. Both mountains are northeast of the Chain Lakes Road, and Big Pisgah will be visible through the trees after just three quarters of a mile. My preference is to do Little Pisgah first, leaving the road at an old clearing about one and a half miles from Outer Ghoulie. From Little Pisgah, you can bushwhack over to Big Pisgah and then drop back down to the road from there. Mud Pond Mountain is located on the Cedarlands Conservation Easement Tract, just a short drive from Long Lake. The mountain offers a great view of McCrory Lake, with Long Lake and the high peaks filling the background. After parking, you can walk the road around to Mud Pond and continue on from there, but I prefer to take the Mud Pond Canoe Carry Trail out of the parking area. This trail dead ends at Mud Pond, and the woods road you'll follow is on the other side of the pond. No problem. Just bushwhack the short distance around the end of the pond and you'll hit the road. From there, it's two miles to the junction with the marked trail up Mud Pond Mountain. The sign at the turn says that it's seven-tenths of a mile to the top. What it doesn't say is that you'll gain 600 feet of elevation over that distance. It's a steady climb. One caveat is that this route is closed from late June through late August. That's part of the easement agreement that the state has with the Boy Scout Council that owns the land. From the overlook on Mount Frederica, you look out over Lake Lila and an unbroken wilderness reaching off to the horizon. This is an impressive vista and it's an easy three and a half mile walk to get there. So why, you might ask, is this not on everyone's list of favorite hikes? Well, the catch is the drive to the trailhead. From the turnoff on the Sabatis Road, it's five and a half miles of rough gravel road to the parking area. It's a slow drive. Once you reach the parking area, walk past the gate and continue along the road. 
After roughly three miles, you pass a lean-to on the left, and the road splits. Take the branch to the right, and in a quarter of a mile, you'll cross the tracks of the Adirondack Central Railroad. In 2023, this line was put back into service for tourist trains running from Remsen to Tupper Lake, so there could be an occasional train, one or two a week. Past the railroad tracks, there is a short climb to a height of land where the final leg of the Mount Frederica Trail turns off to the right. The path is well-worn, but it's confusing near the end, so be sure to look around to find the open ledges with the best view. The tract that includes Little Moose Lake was added to the Forest Preserve in 2006, but it was only in 2022 that a trail was marked to this scenic lake. The trail starts at the intersection of the Northville Lake Placid Trail and the Cedar River Road, a mile south of Cedar River Flow Headquarters. Starting at the small parking area, follow the NPT South for two and a half miles where you will reach an intersection with the newly marked Wilson Ridge Trail. From there, it's another two miles to Little Moose Lake and the site of a long-standing sportsman's camp. Don't be alarmed if when you reach the site of the old camp it looks more like a disaster scene than a worthy hiking destination. The camp buildings burned in 2022 and debris is scattered around. Hopefully, the DEC will get this cleaned up. But in any case, the mess is well back from the lake, so just pass it by. Little Moose Lake is wild and scenic, with nice views of Little Moose Mountain and Manbury Mountain. I expect to revisit it many times in the coming years. But, for my sake, I hope not to see you there. I just don't understand how the word of this place got out. <laughs>